guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is flora i make videos here in the united kingdom and i make videos about my life experiences living here in the uk um in today's video i'm going to be talking about things that you should not waste your money on if you're new to the uk um i wanted to make this video because i know it's going to be useful to anyone that's new to the uk and you're on a low budget you're on a low income say it's just the one breadwinner you have kids or you just see your new husband partner and you guys are really struggling you know this video is going to be used for things that honestly you should not waste your money on sometimes when you're new to an environment you might think you need this you need that you need... you don't you'll be just fine so if you want to know more about uh, this video then keep watching that's supposed to say oh saving money is all about being cheap stingy but the truth is saving money isn't all about being cheap or stingy or selfish it's just about you putting money into your account instead of you know putting the money in someone else's account that wouldn't even appreciate it do you get what i mean don't waste your money going to the hairdressers if you live in the uk that's the honest truth this what i'm saying to you guys i know it might come across as what like i can't slay like this video is not for you if you're not struggling financially honestly you can you know log off honestly i i promise this video is not for anyone that is not struggling financially this video is to help you guys like because it's helped me before so this is personal experience this is yeah don't waste your money going to hairdressers back in the day hairdressers were really really expensive and at one point they actually got really cheap but now they're going back up again so except you have that money you know on the side then it's fine but if you're really really struggling just learn how to make your hair yourself or better still if you're happy putting on wigs do that like i learned how to make my hair at uni and to be honest right now i don't do my hair myself but but that's because i can afford not to but there's a time in my life where i'm going to do my hair myself i i didn't even care how my hair was looking and it's not because i i don't have 50 pounds to just give someone to you know do ghana weaving or whatever the case may be it's just because i just was going to use that 50 pounds for something else that was more important than doing my hair for, do you know what i mean don't buy pre paired food or like those they're just so expensive and um, those already cooked meals don't waste your money, money by already cooked meals just cook and take your food to work um those ready meals or just pre-cooked meals are always really expensive so if you're trying to save you shouldn't be buying that don't waste your money buying that and that's just all i'm gonna say on that one because that's like fairly simple do you get it? if you're new to the uk there is no point renting an apartment and decorating it to a style if you're low on income i'm not saying to be honest if you're if you got that money then obviously but if you're new to the uk there's no point like you know having to you want to decorate your house in a certain way number one it's not your house except obviously you've bought the house you're in a mortgage or something i can get number two whatever f feature fixture fixture i think i'm trying to get water whatever you put on the property that wasn't there when you moved in you're going to have to pay to get it fixed like if there was, if there was no hole on the wall and you've grilled the hole into the wall or you've put something that wasn't there and now you try to get it out and it's too sticky stuck to the wall you're going to repair before you leave so to save you you don't need that you know i know sometimes when we come into the uk we want to show our friends that yeah we just arrived this is where we stay it's looking all nice and neat you just have to face the reality of things that this is how where i am at the moment i promise you there'll be time to show off i promise you i promise you i promise you i promise you okay so just right now just don't bother about this thing just like get your it's not even getting a sofa you can get a, a sofa bed you know like these are cheap things that you can get i'm, I'm going to show you guys our sofa bed i don't know if i should but maybe i'll start a picture of our sofa bed that we bought when um I was uh, my husband and this sofa bed has been with us for like what maybe even five years and that's what we still use in our living room and it's not because we can't afford to buy it, but i just think when we're moving out of this house i really don't want to be carrying sofas nah, nah, nah. obviously i won't be doing that we'll get you know company to come take things but when i move into where i'm going to move into i have plans for that place i'm going to save all my energy and all my time and you know 
until then do you get what i mean and that's just how i think and i just thought you know just for someone out there you don't have to feel like you need to decorate anything don't pressure yourself honestly there'll be time for it okay so yeah don't waste money buying bottled waters because to be honest the tap water in the uk is safe you can drink it my little one drinks it i mean he wasn't drinking it but now that he's one I've, he drinks it he's fine do you know what i mean tap water is safe i don't see why you should spend you wasting money if you're struggling financially buy bottled water if you're so worried about it okay you can boil it you, you get what i mean i believe there's also a filter that you can put onto like your tap to you know, filter the water but to be honest the water in the safe in the safe the water in the uk is you know generally safe and it's not even i drink tap water um i didn't used to like drinking water before because i thought tap water had a bit of taste to it but then i started putting it in the fridge and drinking it cold and then i just got used to drink, drinking it now and it's fine i'm just, i'm well i might not work is my skin not glowing like guys come on <laughs> no but these are just ways that you can save if you ask me obviously that's what i'm telling you but yeah on to the next point getting your nails done at the salon is so expensive don't waste your money i do not waste your money i'm telling you now because it's so expensive honestly acrylic nails other type of nails other type of, it's nah if you're really struggling financially and you want to save some money you could just get um go on amazon and get those um what are they called is it, um those ones you paste by yourself honestly you don't have to go to the salon to get your nails done honestly honestly you can save you a lot of money okay okay not everybody on, on the you see on the street nice nails actually get their nails done from the salon people go on amazon buy and put press on nails and they're good to go Beyonce even uses press on nails. Come on, guys. It's, a, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Don't waste your money on snow boots in preparation for the winter. Especially if you're coming to the UK in like the summer months. You think, oh my God, I need to go buy my snow boots. My, nah, it doesn't snow here. I said, if you live in somewhere far up in Scotland, you know, I can understand. But if you're around the southwest of England, southeast of England, it doesn't really snow around here and even if it does by the time you wake up in the morning the snow is, is melted away and you can just get around your normal life if you're just gonna get something just get like a waterproof boot or yeah yeah don't waste yeah just get waterproof boots waterproof or showerproof jacket and you're good to go you don't need like snow boots in this uk i've been here such a long time and I've, i don't even own a snow boot so i'm telling you now that you don't need one personal opinion but yeah, you can save money on that, I promise you. Just make sure that when you're buying a jacket, spend money on your jacket, guys. Spend, and always buy a size up. Spend, I would advise that if you're going to buy a jacket, buy buy a good jacket because it is worth it. If you're going to spend £150 on a jacket, it is worth it. Because with jackets, you can wear the same jacket every day and it's fine. But if you go buy a flimsy jacket, you'll be changing it and, you know, just buy a really good jacket. Also, don't waste your money buying like three, four jackets because you can only wear them, you know, over a certain period of time. Plus, it's only during the summer, winter that you need it. So what I'll probably say is invest in thermal wares um, that way. Because if you buy like three, four jackets, you can't wear three, four jackets at the same time. I know this one doesn't cost much, but forget about umbrellas. It doesn't work around here in the UK. If you have your shower proof, um jacket you're good to go to be honest by the time you put on your tunnel by the time you um set out the umbrella the wind would have destroyed your umbrella even before the shower comes before you know before the rain starts to fall so don't worry about umbrellas umbrellas are just a bit flimsy just don't waste your money on them just buy a shower proof the one with a hoodie and you're good to go personal opinion like i said like i always say but i think you thank me for this because i'm actually giving you guys real facts here to be honest um it's a bit too true there's no point wasting your money on it that's why i think personally but yeah, that's just my thoughts. I hope I'm not speaking too quickly in this video. I apologize, guys. I tend to do that a lot. I apologize. Moving on. Avoid buying a snack at the petrol station. It's just a waste of money. They usually cost times two of the price. Just always have a snack in your bag. If you're one of those that, like, you know, you like to snack on things when you're driving. When you go to the petrol station, just buy your petrol and go home. Don't bother looking at, oh, they've got Doritos. Oh, they've got this one. Oh, they've got a milk keeper. That's my personal opinion because I, I know that for a fact. So just avoid that um, or just avoid going there, you know, buying things too often. But to be honest, once it's a habit, it's usually really difficult to stop. So I'll say just avoid it in, in general. Just avoid it. 
so that way you're not trying to stop a bad habit do you know what i mean and um, you save money from that also if you're going on the motorway avoid <laughs> when you stop at services to buy things avoid buying food stuff from services um, on the motorway kfc you know um wh smith um mcdonald's they're usually so expensive how about just you know take like a you know, you know if you go to co-op or um, tesco they have this lunch um lunch deals maybe sandwich drink and a, and a crisp or a chocolate bar or something you can buy that and then when you when you're driving and you're on the motorway and you want to stop at the service station just stop at the service station you know rest your you know your legs move about if you're feeling sleepy go to the toilet if you're feeling pressed eat your food that you already have in the car and continue your journey to be honest because to be honest even when you stop by you go and buy kfc you get back on the road and you're feeling sleepy why because you're full and when you're full from eating it's difficult to control sleep because mm, <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it there yeah so yeah that's just one thing that i think is very useful it has helped me and so I'm sharing that you know information with you guys if you're new to the UK I don't see the reason why you should be paying full price for clothes even up till now I can count how many clothes that I've paid full price for <laughs> I don't go pay if I actually want like a really really nice clothes you know I don't always go like cheap 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 okay buy like 10 pounds 15 pounds you know I can get a dress that was once 150 pounds that is now 90 pounds that's how I buy my stuff on sale you know, it doesn't have to be sale as in, oh, it was £90 and now it's £5. Obviously, no, you can never get those kind of deals. Or oh, it was £20, now it's £10. You know, if I actually want to buy a nice dress, um, I go high up there, but then I buy it on sale. So the ones that are actually good quality on sales, I don't see a reason why I should be buying dresses, clothes in general, for this, for the... for. For the actual price that's just my thinking i'm sorry if people think i'm a bit too like you know frugal in the way that i think but it's helped me and obviously i'm trying to help someone out there so yeah and to be honest sometimes sale is actually the original price so imagine if you're now buying it when it's not even on sale your pain times too <laughs> to not be fooled this this company is bad they are getting smarter and they, they've been they will do so many things to our minds avoid buying food at work vending machine if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker how about just buy like get your cup of tea get your tea bags um if you go to costa a lot you can go to costa and say to them you just want to get hot water hot water is probably 10 or 20p um or even 50p get your the like the list there's like this little milk um sachets that you can buy i leave a picture somewhere here so you can see um you can buy that so just have like you know your um tea bag and your milk in your bag and then just go to costa and say can i just get hot water oh, they might even give it to you free and then you make your tea your coffee and you just you go also invest in re reusable coffee cups because no point each time going to costa costa is not expensive it's not cheap you know costa is pretty ex expensive so if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker you know we're in the cold country you know every now and then you want something hot you know to keep you awake and keep you going honestly most workplaces will have you know tea and coffee you know staff tea and coffee and things like that but if your whole workplace doesn't or you're very mobile or you don't really have like a building where you work then this is something that you should consider definitely yeah if you're really struggling in the uk stop buying branded products i can assure you that tesco make or i don't know well, I, I keep saying tesco look because i have tesco around the corner here yeah, and that's why i buy most things or Lidl make is as good as you know the other makes i promise you they usually except if you're allergic to something and then but yeah usually the the you know the store brands are usually as good as the branded so why waste money on the branded do you get what i mean like there's so many ways that you can cut cut cut, cut down also if there's an item that you use ever so frequently buy them in bulk that helps as well okay yes yeah, so that's what i'm gonna say and lastly i'm gonna say get rid of that land phone if you're new to the uk um some broadband providers gonna say okay we can give you a landline and then you can have this 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 da, 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 da. if every single person you ask have has a cell phone has a mobile phone do you really need a landline we have we have a we used to have a landline in obviously when i of if i got married we still have a landline in, in our house and we never use that thing for once. Maybe my dad would use it to call people. Um, maybe 
you use it call electricity gas company or something like that but we never used it i can count how many times they ever called us on that landline it's just a waste of money to be honest and since we got married to my husband we never own, own a landline when we we're filling in forms and they say what's your landline i just put my landline at the same thing as my mobile because to be honest you get me on my mobile any day any time my landline will just be there there's no point paying for a landline is what i'm trying to say in this video okay if i'm repeating it i apologize but that's what i'm just trying to say and those are the things that i can think of off the top of my head and i've written down as well if i think of more points if you guys like videos like this and i think about more points obviously make another video like this but um that's the end of the video i hope more talking too quickly i'm sorry if it's like i'm rushing but i am actually rushing because my little one is going to be awake soon and he's going to want to feed and then he's going to want to play and you're going to be hearing his voice of the background and I really wanted to avoid that. That is why I am like and I apologize. I'm so sorry guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Until I come away next time, I remain Flora and yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and please turn on the post notification because that's the only way you know when I upload. Obviously, you guys already know what sort of videos that I, you know, make. I make videos that will make your life in the UK easier. And obviously, I share my life experience living in the UK. So, yeah. I'll speak to you guys again. Take care. Bye.